back on Inside Tennessee with the candidates for District 1 in Knox County for school board. Ms. Holloway, uh, let me ask you this question, and then we'll move to the other candidates as well. Ms. Satterfield is not running. She is finishing up her four-year term. What grade would you give her as a representative on the board of District 1, and what might you do differently than she's done? Um, you know, I hate to be um, too critical of MT. Um, we were at Austinese together. We were bandmates um, for a year while while she was at Austinese. Um, and I do like her, um, you know, as a person. And too often, I think in politics, um, we are afraid to criticize people because uh, we are friendly with them. Um, but I would give her a grade of C. Um, I think her job performance um, as a Board of Education member was average. Um, there were several things that I wish she had been more vocal about um, and had been more communicative with the community. Um, going back to 2018, where there was an incident um, at a bus stop out here um, in Mechanicsville, um, there was a stabbing incident. Um, I know she hadn't been quite sworn in yet, uh, but um, I would have liked for her to take more of um, a public stance on what happened. Um, there was a lot of trauma, and confusion, and anger um, that stemmed from um, all of the Austinese students who were getting killed last year. Um, I felt that she was a little distant from her community um, during that time when she should have really uh, been more visible and open with us. And also um, during the whole pandemic and then the continuing um, issues of having masks in the school. Um, again, I think that's where she dropped the ball in uh, being communicative with, um, with her constituents. Uh, what I would do different, um, is, um, you know, what I've been doing for years. I'm, I'm definitely visible in this community. Um, you know, people who don't see me walking, I'm out with my kids, I'm at the high school games, I'm at the rec league games, um, I'm at public forums, I'm at neighborhood meetings. Um, I so want you're going to be my more visible. Uh, yes, then we she... use my social media platform to communicate. I'm sorry, I know my time is probably running out. Well, uh, Mr. Frazier, your grade for Evity Satterfield and what you might do differently than she's done on the board. I think her grade is a B plus. I think that she knows what excellence looks like. I like, uh, I interviewed her for television a couple of times and I like uh, her background. I like her heart. I like her concern. Uh, the thing that I have to do differently is I have to meet with the administration of the schools more. I have to, again, meet with the students, and I have to make sure that we do share fairly in the process and the education in terms of our curriculum, in terms of the attention that we're given by our teachers. We have to make sure that we have teachers in our district that want to be there, not someone that was placed there as a first-time teacher. And we have to make sure by listening to the students to see what their concerns are. So our system is a system that I know that will be get better. I think Ms. Satterfield really did a good job. Reverend Butler, your grade for Ms. Satterfield and what you might do differently. I'd give an A minus, B plus. Um, I like the fact that she was present at a, at, a, at a number of things and a number of times. I like the fact that she she did speak up uh, at times, and she did uh, fight the fight at times. Uh, what I would do differently is I'm I'm very much power policy driven. I believe that if you don't have a policy or a plan, you're not going to accomplish what you need to accomplish. But also with policy and plan, you have to have a budgeted item. You have to put the money where your mouth is. You have to also make sure that with the policy and with the plan and with the budget, you have evaluation. So we, we just can't say we're going to do something and plan to do something and then don't evaluate just the 
I, a lot of times what we are, we evaluate is whether we had an effort. We need to make sure the effort is successful. We have to make sure the superintendent does their job. We have to make sure the district workers do their job. We have to make sure jobs are done at the school level and, and work as a supporter, but also as an So, you know, I think that uh, Whoever does the job, it's going to require work. It's going to require, going to require a meeting with the community and also uh, working with uh, staff and working with the board that, you, that we have. Mr. Jackson, same question to you, the letter grade and what you might do differently. Well, you know, I'm going to give her a D because uh, the district itself, from parents, teachers, administrators, they're upset <clears throat> for her not showing up like she's supposed to. I mean, it's good to show up on camera, but not showing up when the camera is not rolling is very important. Um, from all the situations that's been happening in District 1, her whole time there. And, and I want to say this, a lot of people get into politics thinking that uh, it's all the same. Um, again, policies, that is what we do, is we write policies to pass policies. And putting the right policies in effect uh, will help District 1 out a whole lot. And so, for me, I believe that uh, she could have done things a whole lot different. But I don't think that her, her heart was in the job. Folks, you know this, uh, but for our viewers' benefit, the county primary is in May, and then the general election is this August. So one of the four of you is going to end up being the school board representative from District 1. And I'm curious what you think about the choice that was made by the current school board uh, for superintendent, it's John Reiswick, who has been on staff for many years, was viewed as a, an heir apparent, uh, didn't get unanimous vote. What did you all think about him, and are you prepared to work with him? And let's start with, shall we start with? Uh, we'll, we'll start we'll take with, a break. yeah, we'll take a quick break and then, and then come back uh, with that question. She'll have a moment to think about it, and we'll be back on Inside Tennessee right after this.